many blessings many 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 blessings and miracles heading your way in real time wherever you are so let's see pile number one pile number two pile number three choose your pile wisely you can choose more than one welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl in this reading today, we're going to use our intuition. <sighs> Time stems down below if you want to get straight into the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to say thank you so much to whoever is watching this. I just see so many blessings and so much truth being revealed in your life that's going to give you so much relief okay if you've been waiting for some sort of relief and clarity this is your reading okay because today we're going to talk about the person on your mind this could be your sp specific person on your mind who you're thinking about and what are they thinking about you their thoughts about you okay pile number one what are they thinking about when they think about you Pile number two, what are they thinking about when they think about you? Pile number three, what do they think about when they think of you? Hi, pile one. If you chose this crystal, this is your reading. I just want space. I need time for me. I don't know why I want to say I need more time for me. Um, if I follow you, I could lose everything, and I'm sorry. Okay. Um, wow, okay. Whew, this is getting heavy. Okay, this person, I feel like they just need some time i'm getting the vibe that this person is like overworked they have a lot on their plate this person really is family oriented and there's something that they love about their dad and you do remind this person of their father so this definitely is going to be um for someone that you might know a bit about okay um, and if this is someone new, it's like this, this connection could be a bit overwhelming for them. And they are sorry if they have been aloof. They are sorry if they haven't been spending as much time with you. Let's get some more messages from what's up right now. Love messages from so foolish girl. And let's get some confirmation. I need more time for me. I can't sleep tonight for some reason. Maybe it has something to do with you. So this person, if you're feeling like this person isn't thinking about you or they don't care about you, or if you feel like, like maybe they're ghosting you, this person or what they're doing, you're wondering what they're doing. Um, they're going through a lot. This is giving me nine of swords energy, okay? So this could be someone who really thinks a lot, who's in their head. And they're definitely losing sleep over this situation. And if they've been distancing their, themselves from you in any way, they can't sleep at night. And they think it has something to do with you. I feel like this, I'm getting the vibe that this person could be kind of like, come here, go away, come here, go away, come here, go away. Let's just get one more message and see... What else do they want to say? If we can get something for... Because I already I already know what this. If I follow you, I could lose everything. This person could be afraid of commitment. This person could be the type of person who really enjoys their freedom. That's why I need more time for me. If I follow you, I could lose everything. I could lose a part of my identity. If this is some sort of third-party situation, then that would definitely apply. Okay, so take whatever resonates. Let's see... They're definitely afraid to lose themselves, even if even if that is the case. So let me just see if we can get a message for what they want to say. Why? I'm sorry. 
and then we're just gonna check really quick this is gonna be a fast reading um, just to see what they're gonna do next Wow, okay. So I'm sorry because you are the missing link to my picture perfect life. So this person definitely, if, you, if there's any situation where they're saying like, I just want space, give them the, their space. I feel like they'll be back. I feel like if you just trust this person, you know, find a hobby or something you can do to kind of like keep your mind from thinking of this person as much anything you can do to just give them their space and respect their space if that's the case and if you don't want to wait no one is telling you that you have to wait or put up with anything because it does seem like this person can possibly be hot and cold one minute they're into you the next minute they're like kind of like uh i'm busy or but literally like they're just in their head so i feel like this person's going through a lot let's see if we can just see possibly what they're gonna do next. Okay, with some tarot and see. What is this person gonna do next? And what else do they want to say? What is this person gonna do next? And what do they wanna say? Too loud. I don't feel like it's really loud. Ooh, we got the devil. <laughs> um, the four of pentacles. Hmm. This person could very well just kind of keep to themselves a little bit, be a little bit closed off. I could definitely see this person obsessing over you, especially if you like try to walk away, if you try to like not be in their energy or be silent with them, mirror and match their energy. I feel like they will become more obsessed with you. So the more you kind of like ignore this person, I feel like this person is going to try to be like sweating you like checking out your social media like really craving you in a sexual way as well here with this devil card so let's get another one see mm. this person is definitely going to leave the 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 ball is in their court. They're going to have to be the ones to, to make the first move. And they are very much so aware of this with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this burden might seem like it's a bit of... This connection might seem like it's a bit of a burden. But at the end of the day, I feel like this person is most definitely... Um, just craving you sexually like maybe you guys have really good bomb ass sex i don't know like you let me know but it's just like this person they're gonna do what they have to do because you're putting the ball in their court and i do feel like this person is afraid to lose you okay um some of you could be dealing with aries leo sag capricorn taurus virgo and See, yeah, look at this. This person's still going to be in their little solitude. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. They're still going to be in their solitude. They're still going to take their time for themselves. But at the same time, yeah, they are going, <laughs> thank you. They are going to be obsessed with you. Whenever I hear, I've been having this experience since before people have been talking about it online. So I have a lot of psychic hits and downloads. So whenever anything clicks, beeps, that comes through really strong. That's a strong confirmation that what I'm saying is true and that you can just be encouraged and know that I don't see any other, that's the thing. Like I'm not really seeing that this person is a player or a dog or a cheater. Now, quite possibly it could be considered here with the devil card, but I'm not really picking that up strongly intuitively. I just feel like this person could be a little mature and could just be a little tired like in life in general and going through a lot mentally because they know that it's time to make some 
sort of change because you're the missing link to my picture perfect life so it might seem like they have everything um i am noticing that there's a fire here i'm seeing a fire here in the background so maybe this person went through something really traumatic recently in their life or in the past and it's affecting some sort of movement forward but judgment is coming and i do believe that this person will eventually be able to see much more clearly and make the right choice Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for pile number one. If you like this, press, press like for me and subscribe. I would love to have you as um, one of my subscribers. All right. Peace out. Namaste. Okay, pile two. If you chose this tiger's eye crystal. Um, I'm coming trust is what this person wants to say. I miss you, do you? I'm too afraid to talk to you. And let me have you. Mm, I can't stand when I see that card. I really can't. Um, this person could definitely have a blocked throat chakra. And for some of you, this could be a long distance relationship. This person could have some pretty peculiar placements. Um, could even be Mercury and Cancer with this. I'm too afraid to talk to you. Their communication style could be a little bit different. Maybe this person prefers texting over phone calls but they do miss you and they are coming so that's a great thing this person is definitely feeling like they manifested you and like you're just the bomb.com okay so let's see what else but why are they afraid to talk to you let's see why they're afraid to talk to you we're just gonna get some confirmation from my selfish girl what's up right now love messages deck and let's see what Ooh, why are they? Oh, please stop bringing up the past. Okay, so it could be something or some kind of conversation that you want to have, and it's making this person feel uncomfortable. So if you haven't done that, please don't do that. If you've handed around about something in the past, I mean, if you need to bring it up, then you need to bring it up. Because at the end of the day, sometimes the air just needs to be cleared. Some some conversations you're just, you're not gonna not be able to have. So do whatever you feel is led, you're led to do. But yeah, this is just like, they. I'm hearing like, I already told you, um, we've already been down that road. I'm too afraid to talk to you. I miss you, do you? So, um, yeah, let's just get some more. Let's see what else they, what else do they want to say to you? Maybe they said this already. Maybe this is something you'll be surprised. What else do they want to say to my pile number two? I feel like you're going to blow up my life, okay? This is giving me the vibe of someone who, listen, they want to do whatever they want to do. This is kind of giving me pile number, number one, but it's a little different. I love when you text me, but then I can't focus on what I need to do. Okay, so I see where this is going with this person. <sighs> Listen. This person kind of is giving me like, I want to keep my options open type of energy. All right. You don't need to feel guilty about not responding to their text messages. Now, I do feel that this person has feelings for you because they're clearly saying, I miss you. Do you miss me? I'm coming. Trust. But this is always someone who's busy. Always someone who's on, on their phone. Always someone. I, oh, my goodness. Sis. 
So, yeah, you definitely throw this person off when you reach out to them. They feel like, oh, my God, like, this is my baby. That's what I'm hearing. This is my baby. Hold on. This is my baby. If it's something going on with you and you, like, reach out to them, they're like, oh, oh my God. Okay, wait. They, they, they will put things on pause for you. If this is not the person that you're with, this is a kind of energy, this good energy. I feel like that's good. But at the same time, um, they can't focus on what they need to do. So if you find that this person could possibly be really busy and working, you know, if you feel guided, so give them some trust. But at the end of the day, don't forget about this um, please stop bringing up the past mess. Okay. In fact, let's get some because look what we got. Let me let me have you. So this person wants to have you. I'm, I'm hearing to have and to hold. So for some of you, this could be your future spouse type of energy. Thank you to my guides. I just got a thumbs up. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, this could definitely be um, yeah, to have and to hold. This person could be thinking really, truly long term. But let's just get some tarot really quick and see what are what are they going to do next when it comes to this connection um oh i did see that five of wands that wanted to really fall out so i'm gonna let it this person's gonna fight for this connection if you try to walk away from this person, they're going to fight for it. This person's going to just be this disagreeable person. Like, if you tell them, like, oh, where have you been? Or you didn't call me or you didn't do this. They're going to be like, no, no. <laughs> no, yes, I did. I, I do. I care about you. This is a, this is a talker right here. <laughs> be careful that this person uh, doesn't have uh, really good placements, okay, in their Mercury. So, let's see. What are they going to do? I think that's cute. I think that's cute. Oh, this is really wanting to flip sideways, guys. And I'm honestly going to take it. You know, this person's going to ruin some sort of conversation that you have. And sometimes my readings are already happened or they're about to happen. So, if you're, if you're experiencing this, let, definitely let me know. I'm so curious. Yeah, so it's like they're, they're going to be like um they're, they're just gonna mess the communication up it's, it's like it's gonna be a good time and then it's just like they're gonna do something like get all like in their feelings or just i don't know just like not talk for a while or something stupid like that like the communication is gonna be a little bit off okay um let's just see what are they going to do next oh okay yeah so it's looking like what they're gonna do next honestly is definitely gonna shock you and the way that you're gonna be prepared is just like kind of holding your energy back like don't give too much into this connection don't give too much to this person put yourself first is what i'm getting um could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn gemini aquarius libra aries leo sag um because i feel like this person may be taking a pause or taking some sort of break is gonna shock you but it's just temporary because like i said this person wants to fight for this connection let's see what else are they gonna do next with this Ace of Swords reverse. All right, um, Eight of Pentacles, and I'm gonna take this Seven of Swords reverse. And this person's gonna come clean about something, yeah. Um, and it's gonna be an emotional time for you guys. I did see the tower for a second there, so it's gonna be a shocking conversation that it's gonna shed a lot of light and you guys are gonna work it out especially if you have children with this person but even if you don't this person is going to shock you by actually learning and listening to you and hearing you out hearing what you have to say and actually coming clean they might even tell you like oh the reason why i've i've been acting the way that i act like throwing myself into my work and things like that 
is because I I'm insecure you know is what I'm hearing so just expect the conversation it's gonna be a little rocky but I feel like after this conversation that all the things that you were thinking about and wondering about and worried about is gonna come to the light and there's gonna be a self-love healing moment here but also I feel like if this is something you've been wondering about in your connection and it's been keeping you blocked love is gonna blossom again between you and your person all right that's all i have for you pile number two i'll see you soon in your next reading um if you like this don't forget to press like subscribe let me know in the comments what your intuition is telling you and i would love to have you guys come back and watch some more videos and hang out with me so i'll see you soon until then peace and love namaste Hi, Pile 3. If you chose this Black Tourmaline Crystal, let's see what your person wants to say to you. I think so, yes. I still don't have all the answers. I just want you all the time. Aww. What do you want? This is so freaking... Like, this energy just feels really innocent and cute. So, this could be definitely good. This could be something new or a rekindling, rekindling romance. Okay, I think so, yes. So, you guys could be, this person could be wanting to say, like, I know there's a great area. They're getting to know you, okay? They're getting to know you. They're getting to know all different sides of you. And you, they, it's like one minute they think I, they, they have you, and I'm like, really, they're really coming through because I almost said one minute I think I have you. So this person is literally like one minute I think I have you, and then the next minute it's like you're switching up the game on me. What the heck? Like, this person can't really figure you out. You're coming off very mysterious to this person. Seriously, like, maybe you need to tell them, maybe you need to tell them how you feel or say something to them that is going to give them a little bit of clarity. All right. So let's get some more messages because I'm seeing that clearly because that's like backed up. But I still don't have all the answers. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I still don't have all the answers. Okay, that was way too many. Let's get some what's up right now. Love messages. Wow, I feel lucky as a leprechaun to have you in my life. So, that's cute. I like that. It seems like it's all kind of like given arm candy I like introducing you to my friends and I like the way you look. I like the way you smell. That's what I'm hearing. Wow. That's okay. So they feel lucky. I feel like a lot of people want you. Um, wow. Okay. So these just flew out. Um, it says your friends are super low vibe. So this person could feel like maybe your friends are bougie or materialistic or you know the lifestyle maybe that you live you could be different from the people you're around i don't think that they're trying to come off as rude but that's how this message was channeled to me so i really do feel like it's not as simple as that now for some of you yeah they could feel like and you could flip it. Maybe this is your energy coming through. But this is definitely um, how they're feeling. Okay. <laughs> but sometimes that does that does happen. So what are they thinking? <sighs> yeah, with your friends or stuff. I, I regret pushing you away. So if this is an ex or someone from the past, um, it's really being clarified by I just want you all the time. I regret pushing you away and the only reason I said that because it literally just fell right right here so 
this person, this could be like, I want you back. Watch out for Merc Mercury retrograde, you know, seasons, okay? Um, any Mer Mercury retrogrades, right? That person could be definitely trying to come back around. This could definitely be someone from your past. I regret pushing away. If it's not, this is just someone who maybe they just like to play little, you know, tit for tat. I think so, yes. But I'm not getting that. Um, I'm getting that this person, maybe they misjudged you with I still don't have all the answers. Maybe there was some sort of misunderstanding and they're just like, maybe they got impatient with you also is what i'm hearing it's like I, I they got impatient and it's like now it's like okay like what do you want like i'm sorry but let's get one more i feel god is to put one more message from here and then we're gonna see what they want to say to you um ooh, this came out in pile one so you might want to go back and watch that you remind me of my father um there's something familiar about your the way you are with them okay especially if you are a masculine it's something about you that this this feminine is like really attracted to about you if you are a feminine there is something about like their father like really showing up for them in their life and this came out also in pile number two and there's a lot of cards here you guys saw me shuffle this deck so yeah this person definitely i feel like this this could be something where you guys are going to end up being together because you're the missing link to my picture perfect life i feel like yeah you guys could definitely end up together in some sort of long-term relationship or connection i feel like this person with you are reminding me of my father that is really giving me long-term energy okay that's giving me longevity um i'm just hearing forever and you know i'm being channeled that so you are the missing link to my picture perfect life you remind me of my father that is crazy so this person definitely had really good memories with their in their childhood with their father that got a bit long-winded because i was i could really relate um to a lot of this because my parents have been married for like 37 years and i just love their marriage i love how my dad really loved my mom and you know, I think he has her in his phone as my baby or something like that. It's so cute. All right, so let's see. What is this person going to do next? What is this person going to do next? Ooh, definitely, if you have any social media sites, this person is going to stalk your social media sites and they're going to let you know. This person is going to offer you some sort of gift, invite you out to some sort of party. And yeah, just check you out online. Get to know you, be all up in your business, want to know what you do for work, where you're at. I mean, they're going to spend a lot of time thoroughly getting to know you and be all up in your kool-aid okay all up in your sugar honey iced tea all right so if that's what you want i mean i don't really mind someone who kind of like stalks me all right when i'm single all right so let's see um hmm five of wands Okay. Um, obviously, this person is going to put up a fight in terms of competition. They're going to let their presence be known that I'm the man, I'm the woman, I'm the one. Um, this person quite possibly wants to have some non-traditional connection with you that could possibly lead to babies. So, <laughs> if you are... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you gotta watch this person. This person is interesting. 
um, but they could want to settle down. They could want something really serious with you. We do have the hair font and we do have the Ace of Pentacles. I love this Ace of Pentacles for what are they going to do next? Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and the hair font. I mean, for some of you, this could be a surprise proposal. That's only if you've been with this person for a while, but if it's new, Listen, people get married real quick, real soon, all the time. Some sort of transformation. This person really letting you know. Maybe this person's going to express. Yeah, because I see this as an expression. They're, they're going to express their, how you change them in some sort of way. Like, this person's going to get deep and philosophical and esoteric with you. Like, I just see this person, like, really putting on the charm, okay? Scorpio energy coming through. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Really strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person, yeah, they just might introduce you to their pet. Yeah, sometimes it's not so deep, all right? Sometimes it's not that deep. If this person has a pet, they're gonna introduce you to their pet. <laughs> and they're gonna introduce you to their friends, their family. Um, they're gonna introduce you and invite you like into their world, okay? Because they feel like mm, you just kind of fit in with them. You just kind of fit in and you just kind of get it. And I'm also hearing like you're just kind of cute. Like you're you're wifey, hubby material. Especially if this person has been married and they're divorced and ready to marry again. If this person, well, now I do think I am picking up this is long term, okay? In the immediate sense of the matter, just expect this person to give you more attention than they give other people in their lives, okay? Yeah, that's the way, that's the vibe. Thanks again for watching Pile 3. If you like this, don't forget to press like, subscribe, and... Let me know what your intuition is telling you down in the comments because we all have intuition. And yes, that's all I have for today. I'll see you soon. Peace and love. Namaste.